Hello and welcome back to the Reapers and we're back with our beloved MiG-21. We've got our lovely Charles with us teaching us what to do and today we're going to be dropping bombs. We're not doing the nuke at the moment, we're just doing the conventional bombs. So let's go to arm um, our plane standby. Right, so first of all, why don't we look on uh, pylon 2, shall we start? Right click and bombs. So let's see what we've got. We, let's start with the BL-755. Is this the British cluster bomb? Uh, yes. There's really not much else to say about it. It was apparently also used by um, some countries of the Soviet Union. So it somehow made its way onto the MiG. Roger. Okay, and then we've got the BTAB. Oh, you know, I did a whole um, uh, video on bombs, different types of bombs, including all these, but it's all gone out of my head. You know what BTAB is? that a runway bomb? Yeah, it's an anti-concrete or anti-runway bomb. Um, the B, the Betty B500 is just a standard dumb, and the 500 SHP uses a parachute to be retarded and then a rocket engine to propel itself straight down into the ground. Roger, well, but we essentially still drop it just like a bomb. We're going to drop these more or less the same, aren't we? Yeah, I mean, the SHP you can also just drop uh, in a horizontal approach, would make that a lot easier at that low altitude. Otherwise, it's going to be very knackered anyway. Yeah, a firm. Okay. Then we've got the FABs. These are essentially just dumb bombs, iron bombs. We've got the 100 kilo warhead. We've got four times 100 kilos, so that's four times bombs of 100 kilos. We've got the FAB 250, and we've got the Fab 500, uh, which is still just an iron bomb, isn't it? Yes. Fire us a thousand pounder, essentially. Okay. Um, RBKs. Um, I've forgotten what they are. Can you remember? So the RBKs, uh, the 250 and the 500 are two different cluster dispensers. Uh, the only thing that really differs between them is the size. The 500 is significantly larger. Um, PTAB stands for um, semi-armor piercing heat projectiles, basically. And now is that, um, are these one of the types where the dispenser stays on the aircraft and you just dispense and you just drop the bomblets? I don't think it does, no. Roger, okay. And then the SAB, which I can't remember, is that a training bomb? That's an illumination bomb. Oh, illumination bomb. Yeah, which essentially we still just drop like a bomb. Okay, uh, over to pylon one, where we might have some slight differences. We've got the FABs again, and we've got an FAB 250 Mike 54TU. What's that? Yeah, the only difference to your standard Fab 250s is that this one is retarded with a parachute as well. Roger, okay. So here's my loadout uh, chaps on the outer pylons. I've got Fab 250 iron bombs. On the inner pylons, I've got BTAB 500 SHB. These are the uh, these are the parachute rocket or anti-runway bombs, aren't they? Yes. Okay. I'll also find the money aircraft like AC25, for example. Roger. And what are you going for, Star? Request refueling. I'm also going for the bad AB anti-runway bombs and some elimination bombs on my outer pylon. Wow, those BTABs look awesome. Okay, so we're armed up with our bombs. Now let's talk about how to set our aircraft up. So, weapons panel left switch down to ground. Missile selector down to neutral. Here is our weapons uh, pylon selector. We just want this dial, these three options here all we care about. And we can drop uh, racks, sorry, pylons one and two together, pylons three and four together, or all pylons one through four together. Uh, pylons one and two are the inner pylons, pylons three and four are the outer pylons, and obviously pylons one to four are all of them. So first of all, I want to drop my outer pylons, my FAB 250, so I'm going to go to pylons three and four. Honestly, can I stop you there and recommend you do it the other way around? Roger. Uh, for one simple reason, for bombing, you will need a reasonable amount of altitude. It's recommended to get to like 4,000 meters. Mm -hmm. And you're pretty heavy right now, so the Pet APs are going to take a lot of weight off the aircraft and you can drop those from low altitude, basically just flying horizontal over a runway. Roger, sounds good. Okay, um, I'm going to drop the bombs with... Weapon release, and don't forget you need to hold that for a second or two. Okay, so weapon release there and hold it for a second or two. Don't just tap it, uh, hold it until we know that they've gone. Uh, so that's that. Uh, now let's look at our aiming sight. Uh, gun or LNC don't matter. We want this not shooting, we want to change it to the bomb sight. Keep this in auto. Um, our type of sight, we want missile. Any kind of ground attack, we want missile basically, or, or bombs and rockets at least. We want missile rather than gyro. Gyro would be way too um, uh, way too much movement in the pipper. Um, we will have a pipper when we're when we're flying, which will be down here essentially that we use. 
and when it gets to a decent amount of elevation into the gun sight is essentially when we can use it as an aiming tool uh, you'll see when we're in the air we're not really interested in this size or this angle um, down to the radar radar for ranging so we want to turn our radar from standby to on once it's warmed up Bong. we want to turn our beam on shall don't we yes all this ranging yep ranging for, for, for ranging there the beam on um, and arming you should do this once you're in the air but I'm going to do it now to show you to arm the bombs obviously if you want them to explode remove safety cap and arm bombs are now armed I could now drop them on myself and kill myself right anything else before we head off Stahl negative that should be fine super duper stand by full burner and release Yeah, I'll see my paper now. So, following. And rotate. Yep. Right, let's go find a runway to put these B tabs down. Yep. Okay, right, anything I should know about this, Joe? I'll just run over the runway and just use my own wit. Well, well, you can see the island off to our left. It's not that far. Okay. But yeah, I mean, in this case. You're not even gonna use the pipper, it's just, you know, fly over the runway and, and drop it probably a little bit early otherwise. I mean, you can do it diving as well, but with those things, the pipper is just gonna be so low, you're gonna be dropping very late, it's gonna be difficult. Hold on. Those things are more designed for horizontal dropping at low altitude. Right, uh, so we're approaching the target of the baddie runway, uh, Stahl's slightly ahead of me. We're going to go in and essentially almost on a landing approach, I, uh, I suppose in a way, we're going to go low over it and just drop um, it when we're hitting roughly the threshold at low level. So I think Stahl's ahead of me, we're using the BTAB 500 SHPs. Stahl's and hop. Joy. I bet your bombs blow me up. Um, pickle. I'm going to drop mine slightly higher for safety. Boom! <laughs> you got it, Charlotte. You got it. You should go slightly higher, though. Mine didn't actually use the rocket engine. Oh, Roger. Yeah, I'm going a little higher. I've got launch authority. I'm going to wait for it. Wait for it. Launch authority. And cap is bombs away. Watch the bombs. They didn't drop. I don't think they dropped, Shaw. They did, and you hit the runway, but again, they didn't really use the rocket engine. I might want to reshoot that from somewhere. Ah, that's okay, Shaw. So we think we might have... Um, oh, yeah, we got them. We got it. Look at that. There's one destroyed runway. So we think we dropped them slightly too high or too low, do you think, Shaw? Uh, too low, actually. They didn't get the chance to slow down enough and activate the rocket engines. Uh, that's okay. So this, this is an example of bombing the runway. Okay, uh, they still... Uh, so, yeah, so they didn't penetrate the runway like we thought, but that is still an unusable runway, uh, unless I'm told otherwise. Right, should we drop these um, Fab 250s now? Uh, is there a boat or something around here we can practice on? Yeah, there is one. Um, the other direction from where we came, so basically just continuing towards land, there's one boat. Joy. Right, so next I need to select uh, pylons three and four. So I'm going to use my pipper for this shot. And what kind of angle I'm going to dive in at? Uh, you want to start at about four kilometers of altitude and dive in at a 30 to 40 degree dive angle. Roger. And am I waiting for uh, launch authority? Uh, you're primarily just waiting for your pipper to move off the bottom of your HUD. Roger. Heading in um, slightly askew so I can keep him in my vision to the right there. Three and a half clicks, I think that would do me. Heading down. Off the gas. And down about 30 degrees, it feels like. Yeah, you do want to idle the engine when you're going in for a bomb drop. Aper, waiting for the pipper to appear. Come on, baby. Oh, I'm wobbly, I'm wobbly, I'm wobbly. Not appearing and I'm scared. It's gonna feel a bit late. Bombs away. Come on, 
And Mud Thumper. Got it, Beautiful. I got it, Stoll. And I sunk it. How about that for a first time? Beautiful. Chuffed with that. Right. So that was showing essentially all the bombs are going to drop with the same mechanism. That was that was showing how to aim an iron bomb, um, and to show the difference between the technique of dropping on a runway where we just fly above it and we don't aim it per se. Um, anything you want to add to that, Charles? That was pretty good, to be honest. I don't think so. That should pretty much cover it. Good. Right. I hope that helps. Get bombing, and we will see you later. One thing you mentioned: cluster bombs do also work just like that. So cluster bombs work the same as that, basically. You just drop them over a target, and they'll explode over the target, presumably. Yeah. 